So one of the most common questions I always get asked is, aren't you bored out there? What are you doing in the van? Oh my God, you don't have Netflix? How do you survive without Netflix? And it's true. I don't have high speed internet in the van. I don't have streaming. Uh, I don't have browsing online. What I do have is books, audiobooks, and podcasts. The last year has been an amazing opportunity for me to step away from Netflix, from step away from getting sucked onto the internet, and to really learn a ton about so many different things, reading, listening to audiobooks, and getting really deep down the podcast wormhole. So I want to start a new segment where I share with you three interesting things I learned on the road this week without Netflix. Eclipse. On August 21st, a total solar eclipse is going to be visible in North America for the first time in 40 years. This week, I learned about a group of people known as Eclipse Chasers. A total eclipse happens on planet Earth every 18 months. These people have chased them all over the globe. I live in a van and chase mountain bike trails. These people have chased solar eclipses from war-torn countries in Africa all the way down to Antarctica. So on August 21st, everybody in North America, we have to start making plans now to go see this thing. The experience is described as completely life-changing, time stands still, something that you have to be there in person to see. Photos on Facebook are not gonna cut it. We gotta start making plans today. And it's our chance to go meet some of these eclipse chasers. This week without Netflix, I'm learning how to ride a motorcycle. I learned about Yanez Mexica. She was a Mexican-American woman born in 1870, and she had a really sad life, hard life, a lot of death in her family, divorces, and at age 50, she ended up depressed and alone in San Francisco. To try to get out of her depression, she started hiking with the Sierra Club, and she discovered that she loved the outdoors. Because of that, she went to UC Berkeley to see if there were any classes that she could take, and she ended up auditing some classes there, and at age 55, she took a botany class and fell in love with it. At age 55, she started her career as a botanist. Inez Mexica ended up going on seven different expeditions to South America and Mexico. She climbed the Andes, she rafted through uncharted rivers, she had a super adventurous life, and she ended up cataloging over 150,000 kinds of plants, discovering 500 new species, and she even has a flower named after her now. So, at age 55, this lonely, depressed woman found something that she loved, she discovered her passion, she went outside, she went after it, and ended up being a super well-respected and remembered botanist. So I thought that was really cool. And those are the few of the things that I learned this week on the road without Netflix. Sure, I don't have Wi-Fi out here, but I want to challenge you one night this week, turn off your TV, turn off the internet, and open up a book, listen to an audiobook, check out the links in the description, I'll link to all those podcasts, and try to learn something new and unplug a little bit. Alright, I'll see you guys next week.